Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in past few video videos we have seen concept about the Spring Java based configuration uh, and most of the concept we have explored. Uh, in this video tutorial I am going to show you a little complicated example. So this is the project a Spring with JDBC which uh, I had uploaded on my YouTube ch channel long time back and there we have seen in this example uh, if you would have watched my previous spring with jdbc video uh, tutorial there i had shown you how to configure a spring with jdbc and how we can take advantage of uh, dependency injection and all so let me show you this project so here you can see i have a uh, uh, first of all i have a property file which uh, maintains the uh, database information like in terms of key value pairs right and this information we are like driver manager database url username password we are reading from the property file and uh, we have a db script there is a ddl query uh, i mean employee table and uh, here basically if you look into the property file we are using uh, database schema is called a spring with jdbc and here I have a Spring with JDBC schema there. I have a table which contains only one record as of now. Okay, and uh, we have a client program here. We have a client program, and we we have a different method. So let let's explore one method like a create employee. So create employee basically uh, we create an employee object and we call a service layer method. So basically and before that basically we have used uh, xml configuration if you look into this so xml configuration will load using class path xml application context and that is available in our uh, src folder there i have registered all a spring beans so you can see all spring beans we have registered over here so we get the application context we load the beans.xml we get the service instance and uh, uh, once we get the service instance actually this class is registered as a spring bin in the configuration file with this id so you can see so this class is basically registered uh, as a spring bin with this id and this class has a dependency on employee dog if you look into this class employee dog that's why i have made use of the setter based dependency injection right and uh, once we get the instance of employee service then just we are making call to we create the employee object we are making call to the service layer and uh, service layer we are just making call to the doll layer and here just we are performing uh, create operation just we are just creating an entry in the database table so this is the flow for almost all apis uh, basically all crud operation and here we made use of the jdbc template and again i have registered this class as a spring in the configuration file and we have uh, just trying to resolve this dependency by using setter based dependency injection and there are some couple of uh, spring related beans which we have configured to resolve uh, to read a property from the property file so i have configured this because we are using here a uh, spring expression language to read data from the property file so basically my agenda is to in this project i want to show you basically uh, how to get rid of this beans.xml entire things i want to move into the uh, java based configuration so we need to create a class which is almost analogous to this uh, uh, xml file right and once we create a configuration class in java which is equivalent to this xml file then safely we can remove this xml file and uh, this project will be uh, java based configuration so let's start so let's create a class first of all uh, i would give the package name com.infotech.config and class name i'm going to specify employee application config any name you can specify and here this class i'm going to annotate as at the rate configuration And if you look into the so let me close all files close other files and let's we have to convert 
this XML into equivalent Java configuration file. So we have to look into this. Now, first when we have configured driver manager data source, right? So let's define a method. Public which return type is uh, uh, not driver manager data source but data source. And this guy, and we'll have to import from Java X dot SQL. And this return data source. Sorry. Data source and here I'm going to define I'm going to create instance of this guy driver manager data source to new data source okay and here we have to set database driver manager all database information so before that what I'll do let's declare some fields like private string and there are four string attribute like I would say driver class name first of all then database URL then I would say username or you can say database username here I am writing username and password you can write db password as well and here I'm going to specify at the rate value annotation, right? And this, and this annotation will go before every attribute or every property. Now, if you look into the XML file, so here basically this property we are reading from the XML. So this similar fashion we can read over here. So let's move over here now I would say db url and db username and db password okay now here let's continue with this guy now set I would say set driver class so let's set this instance variable now set URL so let's set this URL database URL now database username so database username and finally we need to set database sorry database password set password and we are done and this method will have to annotate as at the rate bin as we have seen in the previous video tutorial so this bin will be registered as a spring bin in the spring container and a spring container will take care about those things right now to work this special language right whatever expression language you have used so basically in if you look in the configuration file we had used property placeholder configurer but we want to move it in the in the uh, java file itself so we are going to use uh, something is called at the rate uh, resource something is called uh, some uh, notation is called uh, property resource sorry. property resource and this guy takes an attribute and here we are going to write class path colon this property file name so basically this will read this property file from the class, class path so make sure that this file is available in the src folder now so once, once you are done with this then we have to define uh, a spring related bins to make it working and that bin name is called first of all we will have to public and uh, that bin name is called uh, property sources placeholder configurer so property sources property sources placeholder configurer and return type you can take anything uh, sorry in method name you can take anything and here 
just you will have to return instance of this guy return instance of this class okay and uh, of course you need to annotate this method as you have already been and this method would be a static method else this is not gonna work this property file will not you cannot read from the uh, property file so make it static to make it work these things okay and next thing we have defined uh, data source we have defined uh, now if you look into the xml file then we are done with this uh, we have to define a jdbc template now uh, now we'll have to define a method which will return jdbc so public jdbc template let's say jdbc template name this method as a jdbc template and this is going to return you a jdbc template instance new jdbc template and this is asking you to supply data source right so simply we'll call this method this returns as the data source itself so this is constructor based dependency injection and this concept already we have seen in the previous video tutorial and we'll have to annotate this guy as at the red bin and almost we have done right so we these things also we have moved into the uh, con uh, javascript configuration file we have moved this is also con this two is pending right and these two bins we had created right this is our own uh, spring class so make it working these two class this package you will have to register for the auto scanning and before this configuration file we have a component scan component scan annotation so here component scan takes uh, attribute like uh, you have a base uh, uh, you have uh, base packages and this text array of string so here you can as as you can assign array of packages right so here uh, there are two package we have to register for auto scanning first is the service IMPL and second is for the DAW so this package also will have to register so that we can make uh, uh, use of some annotations right so i'm going to register this package oh sorry that would be in double quotes as a string now these two packages register for the auto scanning then go to the tall layer and this tall layer you can register you can annotate as at the rate repository and before this variable i'm going to apply auto wire right and go to the uh, you go to the service layer and here this service layer you will have to annotate at the rate service and before this variable i want to auto wire it so you can do auto wire that's it almost now this configuration file easily we can remove so i'm going to delete this configuration file because equivalent java configuration file we have created now let's go to the client program and here uh, instead of this I don't want to load a uh, XML file now because XML file does not exist at all now on notation configuration context config annotation config application context and let's ctx equal to new and here we'll have to write employee application config dot class and that's it we have done so let's test uh, api one by one so first api i'm going to uh, test uh, create employees so let's run this program and see what output we are getting so we are getting this service is not so basically from this name we are trying to retrieve this service name so service name we have to uh, pass it over here that we have missed so now if i run this application then this is gonna work and here it is working now if i go to the database and if i refresh then one employee is created over here 
so I am very much sure rest of the API is also gonna work so this project I am going to upload on the github and github location I will specify in the video